actually just really excited to be vlogging today to talk to you guys because like i said let's try the flavor is banana so i'm hoping she likes those uh this is easy for lunches or breakfasts for the baby since so she loves strawberry and banana flavored things so there's kind of a theme you see her strawberry banana Time and second chances empty and And welcome back to the channel happy monday and i miss you guys so much i'm so happy to be back um i didn't really go anywhere to be honest i just the kids got sick i was under the weather i'm just recovering now so things are good but i'm really excited for today's video i'm actually just really excited to be vlogging today to talk to you guys because like i said i missed you okay so I'm going to be doing a grocery haul today. I literally just came back from Walmart and Costco. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys all the good stuff that I got all in my haul. It's a little bit different. We stocked up on some stuff. So this was more of my heavy haul versus like my weekly haul that I usually do, which will be roughly around $150, $200, which is usually, I wouldn't say every week, but it's like every week, every other week, middle of the week. I don't know, whatever. But this haul was roughly about $600, maybe a little bit more, but this is Costco and Walmart. So at Costco, I like to buy bulk stuff for lunch boxes, snacks for the kids. And that's really what we went for. And then like household items, like paper towel, um, toilet paper, different things like that. And then some frozen foods that we wanted to do for dinner because it's a really quick and easy. We're going to be starting um, gymnastics soon with the girls. So I want to kind of implement some of these things, quick dinners that I can pop in the oven or the microwave or even things that they can use themselves. So I'm going to get right into the haul and I'm going to share with you guys. If you're new here, my name is Tammy. I create um, motherhood, homemaking, live your best life, real life, mom life, vlogs and um, content here on my channel. I know that was just a whole bunch, but if you were into that stuff, I do grocery hauls, I do cleaning, I do decor, I give you guys real mom life vlogs. If you like that type of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it really helps out my channel. And give this video a thumbs up because then it lets YouTube know that you like my content. It lets me know that you like my content and it pushes my videos to other people, which I would really appreciate. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button and go ahead and give me a like and we're going to get into the grocery haul now. So we're gonna start right out here. I'll just show you the girls. They're currently eating their lunch. My house is a mess. Never mind that, but they're watching Coco Melon. So I'm gonna get right into the haul. This is a lot of mostly the kids stuff. I kind of wanted to separate it to show you guys all the things I got for the kids versus what I got for us. But I've shared this before. This is from Walmart, the great value brand of breaded popcorn chicken. This is very popular in my house. This is something we like to get. This is good for easy dinners to pair with fries, mozzarella sticks, veggies, anything like that, depending on your diet and what you eat, this is definitely a good alternative to just, you know, having to cook meat. This one we really love. Um, so we got some croissants here. These again are a staple in my house. We like to do these with breakfasts or even for dinners. They're very versatile. So we just use them. This is new. And I got this today and I saw it's called um, from the snacks collection, Gerber snacks collection. Um, Alea is teething and she's having a little bit of difficulty um, and her gums really are sore. So I wanted, I, when I saw this, I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to give it a try. I don't know if you guys remember in previous videos, I gave her a carrot stick to help her. She doesn't chew the carrot stick, but she rubs it on her gums. And I think this is a little bit equivalent. This is baby fed friendly. So you can see there like, yeah, so I'll let you know how these try. The flavor is banana, so I'm hoping she likes those because she loves all things banana right now. We got these for Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth is almost fully potty trained, but just in case we go somewhere or maybe overnight, we like to have some on hand for her just until she feels 100% confident. So this is the first time we got these good nights in Moana. She was excited about that because it's Moana. Um, the next thing moving into, we have... The Hanes, these granola bars. I got two packs of these for Alea because Alea loves these. This is like, she eats this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like one of her favorite snacks. I got um, strawberry freeze-dried fruits for her. Um, I actually got this in banana as well, but she got into that in the car, and I'm not sure where it is, but it, um, that's open. I got her two of those. 
We got vanilla pudding. I want to implement this into my girls' um, lunches for school. We got a pack of tube yogurts, yo plate tube yogurts. And with, for these ones, I already had some in the fridge, so I just got some to top it up to hold them for uh, the next week or two weeks. And then we have, Kidim got these Krispy Crunch um, drinks, which they're super good, guys. If you've never tried them, I'd recommend it. We got a Frank's because we ran out. I wanted to start the kids back on their vitamins, so we got this big um, size of little critters from Costco. We got some mail from Walmart. And the reason I do Walmart and Costco is because, like, sometimes I really just want to buy, like, this versus like four of these or two of these so that's why we go to both places because i don't necessarily need all of that uh we got kidim yogurts he takes these to work in his lunch i picked up these bean sprouts usually you buy fresh bean sprouts but i wanted them in the can just because i wanted them to last me longer because i'm not sure what i wanted them for yet but i know i'll be using them this week probably in my um cabbage and saltfish that i'm gonna make for myself i might put those these are for the kids, and these are Mario mini sausages. I grew up on these. I got four cans. Uh, this is easy for lunches or breakfasts for the baby. She doesn't like eggs. Alea doesn't like eggs, and I've tried eggs in every way possible. She simply doesn't like them. So I have to be creative with what I give her for breakfast. She likes waffles, but, you know, when you're so repetitive, things get boring. So I'm going to give her some. Try her with these and see if she likes them this week. And then we have beef sausages. And just in case you are a mom... Um, if you see these in your store, they're really soft. The reason why I like these for Alea is because if she puts them in her mouth, they're just going to break up into her mouth. She does have teeth. I think she has a total of six teeth now, but she does really well with eating food. If you guys have ever seen her in the vlog, she is an eater. So i try those with your baby if your baby eats solids. Now, we got these beef sausage rolls for Kadeem, and this is what they look like. We were actually looking at them in the side of the package. Um, we got them for him to try for lunch. So we wanted to change it up just a little bit. Uh, they're fully cooked. All he has to do is put pop them in the microwave at home at work, and then he's all set to go. So hopefully he likes them. Hopefully they turn out good for him. We'll keep you posted on how they are. Um, if you've actually tried them, comment down below and let me know what you think. We got two things of Pringles. We got cereal for Amy and Ariella, which is the Timbit cereal, and Elizabeth. And then we got this new one, which is a Cheerio strawberry banana. And I picked this up for Alea again because in the mornings, like I said, I'm trying to find out what she likes. I know she loves fruits and she loves strawberry and banana flavored things. So there's kind of a theme. You see her strawberry banana yogurt um, granola bars. And then we got her strawberry banana cereal. So I'm going to see if she likes this. Um, and I can probably even just give this to her as a dry snack. Uh, moving on for breakfast, Elizabeth actually chose this. So the, the Tim Horton cereal is for Amy and Ariella. And then Elizabeth chose Fruity Worlds, which is pretty much Walmart's brand of Fruit Loops. So I'm sure the other kids will eat. The big kids will like that too. They're at school right now. So um, next thing, as far as I'm saying, oh, guys, like, girl, I'm out of breath. The next thing, I got two things of waffles. So I got buttermilk and I also got original. Basically, guys, they're like the same thing. But I got to get these in my freezer because they're about to, they're already unfrozen. So we got a big thing of Oreos. We always get this. We literally buy this like every, I would say, two months. It lasts us that long. The kids don't eat it every single day, but they're good for lunches. They're good for snacks. They're good to pair with things. My kids love them. I put them in the jar and they last us super long. And then I got two of these. These are Alea's very favorite thing, like the mandarin oranges. Um, I don't try, I try not to give her too many just because they're kind of acidic. And I noticed that um, she reacts. If she eats too much at one time, she reacts to it. So like she'll maybe have like one a day maybe or i'll switch it up this is why i got two so i can switch it up for her and then these are also for the girls lunches so each comes with 20 cups and what i like to do is i just take 10 out of this and 10 out of this i pack them into the fridge and then i put the other 20 away and it'll hold me this these two cases will probably hold me for about three weeks with my kids especially because i have fresh fruits so um are we stocked up on these as well and then we got some, a big bag of veggie straws and we got these from Costco and we got cereal for hubby from Costco. We got the, the big one for him just because he eats cereal a lot more than the kids. And then we got Welch's fruit snacks. This is good for lunches. This is a staple guys. I've been showing these in my grocery hauls forever. Kids love them. These are from Walmart and these are one of those things where you go to Walmart to get because my kids love um, little bites. And at Costco, they only have the little bites in the chocolate chip. 
which my kids don't like. They like the party cake muffins. So I have to do what I have to do as a mama and get it done. So I got two of these new snack for the kids. They really like these granola bars. I've been trying to get my kids to eat more granola bars, um, different flavors, but this is the one I seem to, they seem to really like. So I got two of those. This was a new one that we picked up today because the kids really like Captain Crunch. Uh, and Elizabeth got into it and had one already. And then this is the baby cereal. So in her cereal, I mean, in her bottles in the mornings, I literally just do this along with um, some strawberry syrup or strawberry, if I can find it, Nesquik strawberry powder and with some whole, whole milk. And that's what she usually has in the mornings. She has this in the morning and in the night and it works great for her. Fills her right up and puts her, helps her to just go right to sleep. And that's only at nighttime. In the mornings, it's just her meal. It's just what she does, girl. And then I got some string cheese for the kids. I got this big pack from Costco. It's 40 pieces. So what I usually do is I take out some and I freeze the rest just because I don't need this entire thing in the fridge because my kids will eat it, like literally finish it all. Um, and then this is, again, Alea's whole milk. So we're going to be moving now on into the kitchen. So that was most of the kids' stuff. Oh, and then I got these. I stocked up on these because I noticed that they're not, I feel like they're seasonal. And Alea really, really likes this, these flavors, the strawberry, the apple, strawberry, kiwi, banana, the apple, pineapple, kiwi, apple, strawberry, guava, and then the apple, blueberry, banana, blackberry. She adores all these flavors. So we went ahead and stocked up on two of them just because I don't know if they're going to go out of season. And if they do, I don't, I wanted to get her as many as I can before they're gone. I'll probably try to go back and get some more just because she really, really likes these. And I mean, Amy and Ari like to take these to school as well. So that's a big win for me. I got these for me, my keto wraps. I showed you guys these. I eat them with pretty much anything and everything. I think this week I'm going to be doing burgers, oven burgers for them. Maybe even tonight, do some ground beef up with all the works for a burger. I got this and then we can also do this for lunches and for Kadeem's lunch. We got some teriyaki sesame chicken. Uh, these are really great. Put them together or even pair them with this or even with the tortillas because we have a ton of those. Um, and then we got some turkey. We got some chicken breast. And then I got a thing of ground beef. I picked up these two drinks for Kadeem and I. Like they're, This one is peach tea. And I love the brand. They are amazing. If you've never tried them, you should. But this is this uh, peach flavor. And then this is a new flavor. It's mango green tea. So I wanted to try all of them. So I got both of those. <laughs> okay, and then we picked up some chips. Kitty actually picked up some chips for himself. I think this is for the kids and then the other two are for him. So I got some Lay's chips, some Cheetos popcorn chips. I promise you the kids are going to probably eat those too. And then we got some barbecue Dorito chips. We picked up this a big pack of pizzas from Kirkland. Uh, it has four pizzas in it, so it's good for like two dinners, two different nights. Uh, we're gonna that's really good and that'll hold us for like two weeks who even knows who knows it's an option and then i picked up these and these are new for me high protein boosts now i picked them up because the price was 35.98 when you're at costco when things end with 98 it typically means it is at the lowest price it's going to be so i picked it up because it is vanilla flavored and the one i normally get is vanilla flavored so i'll let you guys know how they are i don't i don't know i'm used to just getting regular vanilla i don't know if there's a huge difference um, this has this is gluten free, which I really like. Vitamin 26 vitamins and minerals, and then 15 grams of protein. But this one is actually called high protein versus a regular one that's just I guess regular. I'm not sure, but I'm excited for those. I haven't had those for about a month now, so I'm excited that I got some of those. I've got a big box of goldfish. If you're a mom, you know about the goldfish. I don't really have to get into that, and then. I got this case of, of soups. This is a great value brand. This is literally only $4. So this is something I like to get for my kids because after school, like I said, they eat these after school or even just for lunches. Not really lunches for school, but like after school snacks mostly. Or if they're not feeling for anything to eat for dinner, we usually just pop up one of these and they're happy. Um, and then we have the mini bites. These are just the crackers and cheese, rich crackers and cheese. I put these in the lunch boxes. I've been doing it for years, love them. Happy I got some. Uh, we picked up the big case of, how many come in here? Let's see, 30. The big case of 30, sorry guys, <laughs> awkward angle. Pizza pops, pizza pops, my kids eat this like literally. Anything they can put in the microwave, they're soft, they love. 
And then we got some vegetable oil because obviously for cooking, two cases of eggs. And then over here is mostly all my produce. I got some mozzarella sticks for the kids. I got some salmon for Kadeem and I because y'all, I've been missing my salmon in my life and this is literally all I feel like eating. So we got some salmon. I got a big old bag of apples because my new, my kids new favorite, um, new favorite thing to eat are apples. And these are the gala apples. Love them, got that at Costco. Strawberries from Costco. And then also we got some nectarines from Costco. I got a cabbage from Walmart, a bag of, well, this was one bag of milk. We just took it out of the bag itself. And then I got some onions and I got some pears. And I think, I think that, it, oh no, there is actually some more out here. I'm gonna show you guys now. This is more household items. So you have this, which is the chips. We buy this for the kids um, snack. And it's the 54 box pack, 54 pack in the box. And we like to get this for the kids for school and just in general. I got some paper towel, as I mentioned, and some toilet paper. And then we got a pack of wipes and diapers for Alea. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive that is it. So now I'm just going to, I'm ready to clean up the sink. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get to packing things away and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So I've cleaned out the fridge, guys. This is what we're working with. I, I got a clean slate, so I still have some of my peppers. They're still good. Um, that's milk, and then I have the milk down here as well. I've already packed that away. These are just leftovers for the kids. These are things that the kids actually eat, so I'm gonna leave these alone. In this drawer down here, I keep all of my meat. So like I have this pulled pork, Lewis pulled pork, ham, saltfish, hot dogs, crab meat. I keep all my meats in here, like my easy lunch meats or just easy cooked pre-cooked meats this is what my door is looking like so now i'm gonna get tidying up and i actually didn't show this to you guys in the hall which because it was melting we put them in the freezer so we also got some of this chapman's um yogurt vanilla um ice cream yogurt frozen yogurt it's actually really good it tastes just like actual regular yogurt and then we got another 10 of these and i've showed these to you in my hauls before my kids love these They've already told me there's only two that they like, which is the pinini with chicken and then the fettuccine alfredo. The other ones they don't like, so we bought the ones they like, and that's what we got going on right now.
concussion Oh, you bitch by touching tidied up i've got everything packed away i'm going to just show you guys quickly what my pantry is looking like so i haven't filled this refilled that yet but i'll probably get my containers refilled um probably tomorrow everything up here is pretty much the way it's supposed to be you guys can see um yeah so that's pretty much my top shelf is for all of my dried goods and then sauces second shelf you guys saw me put um two cereals and then these are all chips for the kids Waffle cones, Oreo cookies, and then all of our cereals. Moving down to the third shelf, I like to keep it in such a way where the kids can reach it if they are hungry for a snack. Um, and then I have all their snacks. You guys can see everything is packed out and laid out for them to take conveniently. And I didn't actually show you guys what I did with this one. These are for school. Again, they're just snacks for whenever. And then the bottom shelves, I didn't really do anything, but my smoothies are here. And then the soups are down here. But my pantry is pretty much all packed up. So moving on to my fridge. I got all my smoothies uh, packed away in the fridge. This is what my door looks like, guys. It's going to swing. And then I have all the kids' snacks, eggs, and all the kids' stuff up top. I made a jug of juice. I put some water in the fridge. All my fruits. So I actually cut up all my strawberries. You guys can see strawberries. And then I cut some pears and put it in this bag and i actually showed you guys this all the time i'm obsessed and i love it i'm actually gonna go to the dollar store to get another one it's a pyrex i guess a reusable pyrex bag keeps the fruits fresh and then i have all the peaches back there my butter my apples milk yada yada the rest of it i've showed you guys this part and in the freezer i had to move some stuff around because it didn't all fit so i moved the pizzas in here and i didn't take them out of the box because they defrosted and they were very soft and I didn't want to take them out of the box. And then um, hubby put um, the matzo sticks in a Ziploc bag so that they keep fresher longer. His lunch, I have all my waffles. And Yes, babe. And then lastly, my freezer. Ah, I restocked, I'll show you guys the pizza pockets. I moved these here because the kids can reach them a lot easier. And then I have all my meats up top here. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys my, uh, I would call this my monthly restock because this is not just groceries, but this is like household items as well. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because I'd really appreciate it. Tam fam, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I can tell you guys one of my very favorite things about creating content is actually interacting with you guys when you guys talk to me during my videos. It's really fun. And I personally enjoy it. So I'd love it if you went down below. And if you don't know what to say, if you're a little shy, just leave me an emoji. I'm down for butterflies and brown hearts. But, you know, I'm open to anything and I welcome everybody. So I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Later. Down, down,